What's up guys, I just got back from another trip, but waiting for me was this uh, amazing box. Uh, it's another, uh, it's not another Off-White collaboration, uh, but it's actually something I've been super stoked about. I, I know that, that I mainly buy shoes, um, but I'm also a huge Star Wars fan, kind of a geek that way. And uh, Rag and Bone had this collaboration with uh, Star Wars that just came out, I think, like last week. Um, and so they released apparel, and a lot of it's really, really cool stuff, and Rag and Bone is just a, a brand that I typically wear anyway. And so having those two come together, I realized I had to have it. I got onto the site, and so I ordered uh, the one thing that I really wanted, which was this sweatshirt. Uh, most people are not gonna know it's Star Wars related, uh, but it really doesn't matter, because I do. So, unboxing. Came in this little box. I haven't opened it yet, I actually just sliced it, but uh, this is my first time opening it. And inside is uh, it's half broken, and I'm pretty sure there's really not that much special packaging in it. It's just the rag and bone tissue paper. And here it is, uh, rag and bone again. Let me tear it open. And here it is, the sweatshirt. Uh, it's really based off of a Stormtrooper's uniform. Uh, so it's really kind of cool in that regard, but for the most part, it's pretty plain. I'm raveling this for a little bit. So this is based on the Stormtrooper outfit, uh, or uniform. And the uh, this is the, the front chest plate. Uh, it's done in red, actually, and obviously the Stormtroopers are typically white. Uh, so for the most part, people are not gonna recognize this as part of it. And then on the back, if you look at it, there is also this kind of black embossing uh, that's also screen printed on. Uh, and that is the back armor and what that looks like. And if you kind of remember in the movies, uh, parts of that are white and parts of it are black. Uh, but for the most part, this is it. I mean, it's a relatively plain and simple uh, sweatshirt. There's not much to it. Uh, the only Star Wars branding on here is really this little patch, uh, this little patch over here uh, that you can see. And it's uh, pretty darn cool in terms of knowing what it is, but no one else really else does. And so it's a uh, it's really subtle. I really like it. And, and because of that, I can wear it as a fanboy. Uh, and the people that are now gonna, gonna know are gonna know, and the people that don't, won't. And that's okay. Uh, the coolest part about kind of all this is actually how limited these uh, these sweatshirts were. Uh, I believe there's only about 250 total sweatshirts made across all the different sizes. Um, and so it's a relatively limited uh, run. And uh, it was actually only sold through the Rag and Bone retail stores, which only got several pieces each, uh, as well as uh, Disney.com, as well as Rag and Bone.com. And I got it off the website, obviously. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to note is the actual price tag. Uh, it's a, It was a $325 sweater, um, so relatively expensive, uh, but also not that far off from how Rag and Bone typically prices their stuff. Um, so not insanely expensive, an extremely rare piece. I'm just really stoked to have it, so I can't wait to put it on. Uh, but it's definitely oversized, and, and that's it, guys. Thank you so much for uh, for, for uh, unboxing with me, and I'll see you next time. See you again soon, and if you're interested, obviously uh, subscribe to my channel. As always, you can follow me on Instagram and YouTube at MySqueakers. Until next time, peace.